Today, I wanna to show you quick and easy money-saving vegan recipes. One of the biggest complaints I get is that eating healthy is expensive, but it doesn't have to be, especially if you're using tofu, beans, or even tempeh for your protein. Then you'll have plenty of money to be able to buy all of the produce that you need. For these four meals today, I only spent $31, which on average equals to about $1 per person in my family per meal. It's honestly cheaper than a fast food drive-through and almost as easy. I chose recipes where we can use similar ingredients in each meal, and I didn't include other items I already had in my pantry like spices and maybe even sugar or a little bit of flour, things that I already have on hand. Jambalaya. Jambalaya. Not jam, jambalaya. 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 Let's start by making a vegetable jambalaya. The key to this recipe is Cajun seasoning, so if you don't already have some, make sure that you grab some at the grocery store. I already had it in my pantry. You will start by water sauteing one onion, which was about 75 cents. Then you'll add one clove garlic, minced. Then you'll add one chopped bell pepper. I chose green because they're the cheapest of all the bell peppers, but any color works. And then I'm also adding, this is three stalks of celery that have been chopped. We'll let all of those veggies soften. Okay, here's where the flavor comes in. We'll add one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. Then you'll add one can of diced fire roasted tomatoes. You'll also add one can of chickpeas and one can of kidney beans. I bought this rice when I went grocery shopping and we'll use one cup of it right now and then we'll use the rest of it in another recipe. So you just add the one cup of dried rice and then we'll add two cups of veggie broth. If you have leftover rice on hand, you can actually just add that without the veggie broth and then your meal's pretty much done really fast. But we're gonna cook it all together. So then I'll add two cups of water and then two teaspoons of veggie broth paste. I did not include veggie broth in my grocery shopping since that's something that I already have on hand pretty much at all times. Two teaspoons. If you wanna know more about what staples I like to have on hand, make sure you check out my food storage video. Now we're gonna bring this to a boil and then we'll just cover it and let it simmer. This looks awesome. So many veggies. And it will simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes or just until the rice is ready. All right, the vegetable jambalaya is done. Look at that, this is beautiful. It's all done. And we will top this with some green onions. This vegetable jambalaya is so good. So easy, so cheap to put together. You most likely already have most of these vegetables already in your fridge or in your pantry. It's really yummy. The key is that Cajun seasoning and it just adds so much flavor to this dish. I recommend it. Recipe number two is super simple, easy, and cheap street tacos. We're gonna start by sauteing two green onions and one clove of garlic. We just really wanna heat everything through. This meal comes together really fast. We'll cook this for just a couple minutes and I'll add a little bit of water too. It's actually two cloves garlic, so I'm gonna add another clove of garlic. Now we'll add a can of diced green chilies and a can of black beans rinsed and drained. And I'll add a cup and a half of corn. I always like frozen corn over canned corn, but either works. We'll heat everything through. Now that everything's warm, we're gonna turn the heat down low and add the juice of a lime and then salt and pepper to taste. This just brings out more of the flavor. Then we'll add our cilantro on top. I love cilantro, so I'm adding a good amount. It's up to you. We'll mix all of that together and then we want to get our tortillas ready next. I'm just going to microwave the tortillas for one minute. So I took the warm tortillas out of the microwave and now we'll assemble everything together. So you'll take your corn tortilla and here's the trick. We have an avocado here. We're gonna use this to help stick everything together. I need to save a fourth of this avocado for another recipe though. So I'm gonna save that and then use the rest. I wanna just smash some avocado on each tortilla just as the base layer. You can also use hummus here instead. It just keeps everything kind of together. Then we'll take core of the mixture. We'll put it on each tortilla. You can see that it goes really far. And then we'll garnish with either your favorite salsa or some tomatoes and some more cilantro. Unless you're a cilantro hater. Sorry, my mom hates cilantro. And I'm like, oh, it's too bad. It's like one of the best parts of life. All right, there you go. All right, let's try it out. Yum. These are so fresh and so good. So simple, easy to put together. The beans, the corn, this is yummy. I'll be here for a while. <laughs> 
seriously so fast, so cheap, so easy. Next, I'm going to make tempeh sausage and I'm going to use it in a salad for the adults and in a casserole for the kids. This kale salad is quite possibly the easiest salad you will ever put together and it is incredibly delicious. We'll first start by chopping the kale and you wanna make sure not to include these really thick stems. We'll place it in a bowl. I have made this salad in plenty of other videos because it's just so simple and easy. It's one of the first salads that a vegan friend of mine taught me and I was amazed. The cool thing too is this salad lasts for days in the fridge. So it's not one of those that you have gotta eat it all or else it will go bad. And then you can even turn it into kale chips afterwards. To dress the kale, we'll use just the juice of a lemon, salt, and a quarter of an avocado. So remember how I saved that quarter of the avocado? So I went ahead and diced it really small. We're just gonna add it to the kale. Then we'll add the juice of a lemon. I'll start with half a lemon and then we'll kind of taste it and go from there. Depends on how much you like the lemony taste. Seriously, this lemon was more expensive than the kale. Kale is so cheap. I think it cost me because it was sold per pound. So it was like 75 cents. And then you'll add the salt. And then we just basically massage the kale. We gotta massage all of that into it. We massage the avocado into it. Sometimes it's nice if your avocado is a little more ripe. It's a great grounding exercise. Massaging kale leaves brings you back to the earth. And then all you do is taste it. See if you like the flavor. If you need to add more lemon or more salt, honestly, this is perfect. I'm gonna add just a little bit more salt, but it is delicious. It's so good. It's amazing how much flavor just half of a lemon and a quarter of an avocado can bring to kale. The salt, of course, is key. Perfect. Now let's make the sausage. All of our recipes today are from our spring meal guide. You can check that out by following the link below. And while you're down there, make sure to check out our free one week meal guide so you can see for yourself how cheap and easy it is to eat plant-based. Now let's make the tempeh sausage. You'll take the tempeh out of the package and then just crumble it. All you have to do is really just smush it and it kind of crumbles on its own. We'll turn it on high heat and then add just a cup and a half of water. After that, we'll add two tablespoons soy sauce or you can also use tamari. One teaspoon vegan Worcestershire sauce. One teaspoon of smoked paprika. Two teaspoons Italian seasoning. One teaspoon onion powder. One teaspoon garlic powder. In my opinion, this is what makes it taste like sausage are the fennel seeds, but you don't wanna add too much. I just add a half of a teaspoon of fennel seeds, and this is what gives it that sausagey flavor, as well as the red pepper flakes. We'll just add a pinch, adds that little bit of spice. And as always, liquid smoke. Now liquid smoke is completely optional. If you have it, you'll add one teaspoon. You don't need to add it though if you don't like using it. But it does make it taste like sausage. This is what they flavor actual sausage with. All right, let's mix all that together. And we're just going to simmer until the water kind of boils down, letting all the flavors seep into the tempeh. Okay, it has all simmered down and now you can just see the sausage, it's perfect. So we'll turn off that heat and it's super flavorful. Now for the adults, like for me and my husband, we can have that kale salad and we'll just take a bunch of this sausage and put it on top. This is super filling, it's delicious. It adds just the perfect mix of protein with the yummy greens. Like this is great for us, but I know my kids won't eat this, so let me show you what I do for my kids. In the pan, I'm going to add the leftover rice. We, I went ahead and cooked the rest of that rice that I bought, and we're gonna add it to the pan. I'm gonna turn it on medium heat again, and I'm going to also add the rest of my corn. Turn this into a casserole. I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to get more of the flavor from the pan into the rice. We'll let all that heat up together. I'll also add one teaspoon of the veggie bouillon paste. With that extra water, it should all dissolve together. I'm gonna add another teaspoon of the Italian seasoning to this as well, just to bring in a little more flavor. And then I'll add in some of the kale to this as well. Not Obviously not as much as the salad, but they do need some greens. I have one child that I'm sure will pick all of this out of every single one of his bites, but <laughs> it's fine. And then we'll turn down the heat and top everything with some green onions. I love that they literally have no idea that they're eating tempeh. It's just literally mixed into the rice. It's the perfect way for my kids to eat tempeh. There's no way they would eat it on that salad, but they would eat it just like this. All right, let's top this with our green onions. Kids version and adult version. Tempeh sausage with kale. Super high in protein, so good for your gut. It's a fermentable food. We should all be eating more tempeh. Honestly, both versions are really good. It's awesome, it's flavorful. 
and I taste that fennel. I love fennel. I still think I like the salad the best. It's just so good. And if I don't finish it tonight, I can put it in the fridge, eat it tomorrow. It's the best part. And for our last meal today, we're going to make tofu breadsticks. Okay, we're going to take our tofu. It's already been pressed and dried, and now we need to cut it into the shape of breadsticks. These are actually gonna be kind of like fish sticks, but without the fish. So think the shape of fish sticks. Now with this recipe, you can use nori sheets for a keiki. I don't even know how to pronounce that right. For a keiki, which you can buy at Trader Joe's or just nori sheets and crumble up. I'm gonna skip that part. I don't really like the taste of fish sticks, so I don't need to make it taste fishy, but just know that you can if you want. All right, here we have our, our bread sticks, our tofu sticks. Now we need to set up our dipping station. On the first plate, we're going to add a half a cup of flour. You can use chickpea flour or whole wheat flour. This is just gonna be the first kind of station for us to dip our, our breadstick in. Now on this other plate, we're going to add three fourths a cup of breadcrumbs, preferably whole wheat breadcrumbs if you can find them. And then you'll also add a fourth a cup of cornmeal. Then we'll add a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika and a half of a teaspoon of salt. So we'll mix all that together. You could also add Italian seasoning to this if you want it to be more of an Italian kind of breadstick, cheese stick flavor, that works too. Let's mix the wet ingredients. They're going to be half a cup of plant-based milk, preferably soy, and you want it unsweetened. I'm using almond milk. Soy is just a little bit thicker, which is a little more helpful. Then you add one tablespoon soy sauce or tamari, and then one tablespoon of either apple cider vinegar or the juice of a lemon. I'm adding the juice of my second half of my lemon that I had earlier for the salad. Finishing that up here. So about one tablespoon. And then we'll mix that together. It's kind of like our buttermilk. Okay, so now let's start the whole process. You'll take your tofu stick. We'll put it first in just regular flour. Then we'll dip it in our wet sauce mixture. And then we go to the breadcrumbs. Then you'll wanna put it either on a pan, if you're using your oven, you'll wanna heat your oven at 375. I'm going to use my air fryer, so I'm gonna grab my air fryer sheet and just put it there. Look at that, perfectly dipped flavored tofu stick. All right, let's take that breadstick and we'll just line them all up here. The cool thing about these breadsticks is you can make them and then actually freeze them in the freezer. They last for up to a month frozen in the freezer. So you can just spend one afternoon when you have the time and then you have quick go-to protein filled snacks ready to go. You just have to re Heat. I prefer to reheat them in the air fryer. All right, they are done. Let's go ahead and put them in the air fryer. We'll do 400 for 15 minutes, but I'm gonna check every five minutes. Now, I did not spray these with any type of oil, but depending on the breadcrumbs that you ended up using, you might have to. So just a heads up. It should take about the full 15 minutes. Now, tofu breadsticks alone isn't quite a complete meal, so I'll add some celery sticks with this and any other fruit or any other veggie I already have on hand. I mean, it could be as simple as adding apples. I'm all about easy when it comes to my kids. All right, here they are. Yum. Tofu breadsticks. Yes, they're made out of tofu. You eat them with ketchup yeah. or just by themselves. Do you like the breadsticks? Yes. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure to check out my other video where I was at the dollar store and was able to buy all of the meals for less than a dollar per person, only from food from the dollar store. You'll love that video too.